Time now for today's poll position. Sylvia? Well, staying with food scandals, and there's controversy here following accusations that China's leading producer of bottled water and soft drinks, a company called Nofu Spring, put dangerous levels of arsenic into some of its drinks. Authorities in the southern province of Hainan put out a public warning about it at the end of last month. They said tests had shown high levels of arsenic in at least three different Nofu Spring drinks, as well as a soft drink made by the Taiwan-based Uni President Group. Officials from the Bureau of Inspection in Hainan's capital, Haiko, ordered the products to be taken off the shelves. But the announcement was met with strong denials and anger by the company's executives, who called for the products to be retested. Samples were sent to the National Quality Watchdog and were found to be safe. The saga has triggered more debate here about product safety. And in today's poll position, we look at a poll on this issue by the news portal Sina.com. They asked people, do you think these products are safe? 43% of people said they thought they were unsafe, 23% said they thought they were safe, and 34% said they weren't sure. In a second question to respondents, signup.com asked, will you continue to buy these drinks? 60% said no, 25% said yes, and 15% said they weren't sure. Well, Tom, we have a couple of comments here. One internet user says, the news reports on this have only scratched the surface. I'm afraid the truth would be covered up forever. The people who were really hurt by this are the consumers. Another comment here, um, one says, I'm confused. I don't know who I should trust now. That's right. A lot of comments on this issue. Someone else saying, I think the bureau in Hainan might have been paid by a foreign company mm. to frame the best-selling domestic brand. Interesting comment, that one. Yeah. And another comment from someone saying, look, food safety examinations aren't a game. The Hainan Bureau has made all of the bureaus of industry and commerce lose face, this person says. Mm. Uh, who should take responsibility for this kind of examination is their question. Lots of comments on this issue, and no doubt it's going to be an issue that rumbles on. Right.